In ArcGIS Pro, the Evaluate Site workflow is available from the Business Analyst menu. This allows me to conveniently locate a potential site, build a trade area, and discover facts. This is one of the fundamental parts of real estate or any location analysis. Let's walk through the workflow to learn more. In step one, I can locate my site in a variety of ways. I can search any address. For example, if I search 875 North Michigan Avenue, I am presented with a list of candidates. You can configure the address locator to ArcGIS Online or your locally installed locator. Beyond a street address, I can simply search for keywords such as John Hancock Center. I can also search within features on the map. For example, I have a layer of 3,000 Chicago area banks. I want to find the banks on Michigan Avenue. The search finds all locations with Michigan Avenue in the database and I can select the one I want. But one of the easiest ways to add a site is to simply click on the map. This gives me the exact XY coordinates and we are ready for step two. Step two allows you to add trade area buffers to your site. I can select up to three ring buffers or I can use drive times or network distance. I will select a 5, 10, and 15 minute walk time to see what's immediately around this spot. On to step three. We'll prepare our analysis for the boundaries created. There are three common methods to choose from, infographics, reports, and enriching the layer. Here I will select the market profile report. I can also select any custom report from my organization. Next, I will select a few demographic variables of interest. I can also select my organization's shared variables here. After reviewing the summary and completing the workflow, the site, walk time, and enriched layers are added to the map. I can see the area of analysis, view the demographics of the walk time, and read the report. This all gives me a good initial understanding of my potential site. Lastly, the processes are run in the background as geoprocessing tools. I can view my geoprocessing history to rerun the analysis or use them in a model. Thanks for watching.